Dearly beloved, if you are a born-again believer, the Word of God says that we are the saints of God. It's not no special thing that man does that makes us a saint. It is simply our position in Christ. I know many times believers say or love to say that we are sinners saved by grace. But I believe it's more accurate when we say we are saints that have been saved by grace. Because look what the Word of God says in Colossians, the first chapter, uh, the second verse. And Paul is writing this letter to the believers. He says, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul is establishing here through this particular writing by simply addressing the believers as saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae. Well, we can use that term even today. Saints who are in Los Angeles, saints who are in Tokyo, Japan, saints who are in Sydney, Australia, saints who are in China. Dearly beloved, we are the saints of God. And God calls us that and Paul says that to address it to the believers, and I believe he did that purposely so that believers would know where their position was in Christ. That they are saints before God. It does not declare that they are perfect, but the word says that they are faithful saints of God. So dearly beloved, remember that. We are not called to so-called pray to saints, but we are to live our life in this earth as living saints of God. I know many of us don't like to carry that particular title, but that's who we are in Christ. When you are a born-again believer and you trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, and God has become your Father. You are saints of the living God. You are no more and no less. But you are saints called by God. And Paul was establishing that fact through his writings. And dearly beloved, we need to establish that fact amongst one another that we are saints of God. Amen. Dearly beloved, walk today as a saint of God and await on the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ as an awaiting saint. God bless you in Jesus' name.